Hey everyone, Technomancer here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix Android Auto not working. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and find the settings. And from your settings, you're going to go to connections. Right In the connections here, we're going to look for the Android Auto setting itself. So let's click on Android Auto. And once you do that, of course, like I said, first thing you're going to want to go is where it says start Android automatically. As you can see here, you can have default or always. Try to change the setting to always and go ahead and test it out. And then try connecting again a vehicle. If you haven't connected, you can do it through the USB-C port if the wireless isn't working, just to make sure because the wireless requires your vehicle to be 2021 or newer. So keep that in mind. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to do is go ahead and back to the regular settings here from the main settings. This time, we're gonna go down here to apps so we'll click on apps and look for android auto app so we're going to tap on that and once you do that we're going to go down here where it says permissions we're going to tap on it you want to make sure whatever you're giving permissions it has the correct permissions where it says allowed if for some reason like for example if i had this setting don't allow right it will appear here we're not allowed and you won't have access to that so you're going to tap on it to change it to while using the app so give it permissions to whatever you want. For example, your call log, contacts, microphone, things like that. These phone, if you want the phone and SMS. So make sure those are selected. Now with those selected, next thing we're gonna do, go back again to the app info here. This time we're gonna go ahead into storage. And then we're gonna go ahead and clear cache and then clear data and then delete. That will reset all the data. And then you're gonna go back here and do a force Stop, click OK, go back, and then go back again. And if you're doing a wireless setting, you want to go to uh, do a setting for general management in the settings. And then you're going to do a reset. And we're going to do a reset of the setting for wireless and Bluetooth settings. So if you're not able to connect correctly, you're going to do that and then reset your wireless. Uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth setting, this will make sure that the connection is happening with it. And the final step to do is go ahead and pull down the top menu and restart your phone by clicking on the power icon. Restart from here or you can use the volume down button and the power side button and restart as well. And once you do that, hopefully it is working for you. The final thing to do is sometimes depending on the car model that you have, you might have to update the software on the car. So make sure you're updating your manufacturer's uh, guide on how to update the software. And then you can also update the software on the on your phone by going into your settings, right? Starting from the main setting, go all the way down here, software update, and check for update. And if there's an update, go ahead and update it. Keep on updating until you get to the latest version. I'm already up to date, so it's good to go. But if there's an update for you, go ahead and update both of the devices and retry again. Hopefully it is working for you. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.